Hello and welcome. In this short video, we will show you how we can apply machine learning techniques to notification long text data from SAP ERP to drive failure mode analytics. SAP Intelligent Asset Management is a suite of cloud solutions from SAP in enterprise asset management space that promises to deliver a holistic 360 degree view of assets across the supply chain. It builds on SAP's strong expertise in operational asset management and adds intelligence and collaboration to it using the latest technologies like IoT, predictive analytics, mobile networks, etc. SAP Enterprise Asset Management customers generally have a huge volume of historical data about their assets stored in their SAP system. Yet they lack insight into the top causes of an asset failure. One of the reasons for this is much of the data is stored in an unstructured format in the form of long text. This use case showcases how failure mode analytics powered by SAP Intelligent Asset Management can help address this problem. In the event of a breakdown or a functional failure of an equipment, a maintenance technician is tasked to restore the equipment to its working condition. The maintenance technician documents the findings of the problem and the causes in the corrective maintenance notifications long text field. The notification long text is updated via various sources throughout the life cycle of the notification. Over a period, a lot of valuable information about an equipment is stored in the notification long text. A lot of organization do not build analytics based on such data due to the development complexities, thus losing valuable insights. With SAP Intelligent Asset Management, all this can be easily achieved. It is now possible to replicate the equipments along with the notifications to SAP IAM. In SAP IAM, machine learning techniques can then be applied to transform millions of lines of text to meaningful insights in the form of failure mode analytics. Failure mode analytics in SAP IAM is a four-step process. The first step is data preparation. In this step, we verify if all relevant notifications for the selected equipment are replicated to IAM from SAP ECC. We have selected a power transformer for this demo. We need to ensure that the breakdown notifications have the long text, malfunction start date, and malfunction end date filled in. Next, we make sure that the failure modes of the equipment are properly defined. Each failure mode should have a list of causes documented. Once the data is ready, we proceed to the next step to set up the unsupervised machine learning model. The model is based on the latent Dirichlet algorithm, which is a popular topic modeling method. Once the model is defined, we will start the training of this model. After the model is trained, the results need to be validated by a domain expert. At this stage, the domain expert can manually reassign the failure modes for the result set. In the next step, we will define a supervised machine learning model. The standard text class ensemble algorithm is used in this case. After the successful completion of training and scoring of this model, the failure mode analytics will be available. To view the results, we need to navigate to the equipment and check the breakdown notifications. These notifications will now have a failure mode assigned. The failure mode analytics view will also be available now. Here we can see which failure mode is more frequent based on the number of times it appears in the notifications. When we view the failure mode details, we can see which causes contribute the most to a failure mode. Just to summarize, here are the benefits of failure mode analytics that we have seen in this demo. 
If you would like to know more about this use case or if you are interested in wider SAP IAM use cases, please get in touch with us.